mi corazón. What's up, everybody? Today, I am hooking y'all up and I'm giving you the authentic recipe for tacos asadas. It's a really um, popular dish right now, your street tacos. I've made them every kind of way and I'm telling y'all, this is the true way. So the first thing we wanna do is get some parchment paper down, get our green onions down and not your typical green onions. As you can see, these are a little bit bulkier. They have a larger bulb at the bottom. We wanna go ahead and get them in a pan along with our jalapenos. So get that in your oven. Go ahead, set the oven at about 350. We're gonna get those softened up and we're gonna finish those off in the pan. Next, we're gonna start off with our taco meat and our lard, manteca is a good brand. I've made this every kind of way. I've tried butter, I've tried oil, I've tried olive oil. Nothing works like the lard. So you're gonna put about two tablespoons into a pan and that's gonna cook our entire package of meat. All right, while our lard is melting in the pan, we're gonna go ahead and start adding our asada meat. And if you live in Rock Hill, South Carolina, I recommend you going to Las Americas. You can get everything in one stop shop. Go ahead and cook that, brown it, and just let that go. Our seasoning, you wanna keep that as basic as possible. Just add a, probably a little bit of adobo, a little bit of salt, garlic, powder, and that's it. Let Okay, while our meat is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and prepare our toppings and set those to the side. We're gonna take a medium onion, cut that up as finely as possible. We're gonna mince up a bunch of cilantro and a must have, you definitely have to have the radish. Go ahead, slice those up thinly and place them all to the side. All right, now back to our meat. You don't have to drain it because when you initially start cooking it, it's gonna look like it's boiling in water. Trust the process, continue cooking it, that fat will render away. And also, you're gonna wanna cook your jalapenos and your onions in there and you want them to get nice and uh, great caramelized brown crust on the outside, just like you would at the Mexican restaurant. So at this point, your meat should be good and kind of crispy, but not all the way crispy. Your jalapeno and your onion should be ready. You're gonna go ahead and slice up uh, some limes. You're gonna need a few of them. So I would take a whole lime and just quarter them um, and put those to the side. And then now we're ready to dress up our taco. Two things you need to know. First thing is you cannot re um, replicate the masa corn tortillas that you're gonna need. So I recommend you go into Las Americas and ordering a pound of their homemade tortillas or if they don't have homemade tortillas, you can buy the El Milagro tortillas in the store. Those are as close as you're gonna get to a taco truck um, where you're gonna have that authentic, true taco flavor. So just trust me on this. Do not doubt me. Do not go to Walmart and buy tortillas from there. You need to go to your local Mexican store to get this because remember, these are authentic. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and dress up our tortillas. A trick that I did not show you on the video is you wanna take your flour um, tortilla and put it over the meat. Let some of that grease soak up onto your tortilla. You're gonna put your meat in along with onion and cilantro. Um, and we're gonna make up about four of those. Go ahead and put your toppings on, your cilantro, onion, your radish, and sit that to the side. Now you're ready for your next one. And we're gonna do the same thing. Put your flour tortilla over the meat, get a little bit of that grease on there. Go ahead and put your, your meat, onions, cilantro, and your radish on, however many tacos you want, and just put them in a plate, and we're gonna be ready for the next step. Okay, now we have our tacos all dressed up and ready. The next step you need is your um, salsa roja, and you can't make that either, so don't try. Don't try to use hot sauce or Texas peat. You're not gonna get the same flavor, so just go to your um, favorite taco truck and just ask you know to purchase the salsa roja from them and I promise you it's gonna make a world of difference on your tacos and now we're gonna go ahead and get a jalapeno and our onion from the pan and put those on the side I love to eat my tacos with a strip of jalapeno and a strip of the onion just makes it so good as you can see I have my lime over there on the side and now we are ready to throw these back um, I'm telling y'all I shouldn't even be telling y'all this recipe but I don't know. I just had to share it because I've tried this recipe a hundred times and I finally got it. So uh, I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you think this is a great recipe, I need you to do two things. That's like and share. 
All right, there you have it, folks. Taco asadas made by Mashup with May Lee. I hope you enjoy this recipe. I do want to show you two things, though. This picture here is with the El Milagro tacos. And if you look and see, this looks more like the restaurant-style tacos that you're probably used to. But the authentic ones are made with the masa flour. And I will show you that picture next. These are the masa homemade tortillas that you can buy from uh, Las Americas and Rock Hill. These are the handmade ones made with the masa flour and the water. It's more traditional and more authentic of a flavor. But if this is your first time, I would probably go with the corn tortillas that you can get um, El Milagro. I can't say that enough. That was a, a hint given to me by a taco truck to try that one first. But either way, they're gonna be good. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Tell everybody to go to my YouTube page, Mash Up With May Lee, uh, like, subscribe, and follow. Thank you, guys.